Now, when people say, for example, you know, I, I would read the Bible, but you know, I'm just so busy I don't have time. Or, I know I should spend more time in prayer, but I just don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. I don't have time. Think about what you're saying. You're saying to the God of this universe, the Creator, you're saying to the Sovereign of this universe, our Sustainer, you're saying to this God who is our judge, you don't have time for Him? Who is the source of every single thing you have? Who desires an intimate relationship with Him? It takes time, which means, of course, it doesn't happen overnight. I was fortunate enough growing up to have gone to see my granddad when I was about 17. You heard me talk about that. Walked away with wealthy on the inside, not realizing how wealthy I was, of what I heard him say. But I remember one of the most impressive things I heard was God spoke to him, and he listened to God, and he began to tell me the things that God had done in his life. And when I walked away, my question was, God, if you spoke to him that way, would you speak to me? If you would work in his life that way, how would you work in my life? I want to hear you, God. I want you to show me the truth. Now, did it happen overnight? No, it did not. But I got in the Word, and I began to read, and I began to ask God, Lord, speak to my heart. Show me. Help, help me to understand your voice when it's you and not me. Give me understanding, Lord. And so, that's been a long time ago. But I can tell you this, the most powerful, awesome thing in my life today, second to nothing, is getting on my face before Him and talking to Him and listening and sensing His Spirit and my Spirit being in oneness with each other and knowing that no matter what I ask, I'm not going to be disappointed. No matter what I ask, He's not going to get upset. No matter what I ask, God is more than sufficient and adequate to meet this hunger within me that He's placed there. He has placed within all of our hearts a hunger. The problem is that when a person doesn't understand what's going on, they think, if, they, if I had this and her and him and that, I'd be satisfied. Only God can satisfy the human life. And you know, I could say that 10,000 times, and people would hear it and walk right away trying to fulfill this place for intimacy with something else. It doesn't work. It takes time. So you say, well, I'm already 50 years old. Get started. <laughs> Get started. Let me ask you this. What, what's more important than your personal relationship with Him? And think about this. All of us have certain people we like to talk to, right? There are certain people you like to talk to and certain people you like to listen to. Think about this. We have the privilege of listening to holy God. Now, once in a while, somebody will say, well, let me tell you what God said to me. And I said, mm -mm, he didn't say that. Well, who are you to tell me he didn't? I said, because it contradicts the Word of God, and God doesn't contradict himself. There are certain things he doesn't say. He makes it very clear. He will show you the truth about Himself. He, he, listen, He will show you the truth about Himself through His Word, but He will also show you the truth about Himself in life. Develop a listening heart, a listening spirit. And the reason people make wrong decisions is because they don't listen to Him. One thing you can bet for sure, He will never mislead you. You know why I know that? Because He is a God of purity, righteousness, and truthfulness. He cannot deceive. He cannot mislead. He cannot do anything that would be a contradiction to who He is. This very God is living on the inside of you in the person of the Holy Spirit. He's there. Why? Because it is His Spirit that speaks to our spirit. It is His life connecting to our life. You say, well, but I'm not, I'm not worthy of all that. The next time you feel that way, you just remember this, that the cross is God's one and final testimony to His awesome, unconditional love for you, no matter what. 
He does care about you. And he wants to work in your life his awesome grace and love and mercy.